Hello guys, welcome back to Archive Ryzen. In this video, I'm gonna talk about some spec race here about how to abscond it and the upcoming update. So Haru the Absconditus is our new 5-star kinetic pistol user who are very skill dependent. So if you are a player who doesn't like using pistol too much, then pulling for her is not a problem for you. And also, because she is a very skill dependent, where most of her skill doesn't need you to aim properly, then she is very suitable for mobile player. So you don't need to care too much about your aiming, all you need is to keep spamming her standard skill and ultimate skill. When you're using Haru's standard skill, Haru will dash a little bit and unleash a fat pool slice that deal kinetic damage up to 5 enemy targets in its path. Also, this fat pool slice can pass through obstacle. Here you can see that the fat pool slice path is showing by the arrow. But after the fat pool slice being launched, the enemy that beside the fat pool slice pad are also getting targeted and getting slashed by her standard skill. So this skill is auto-targeting skill that can damage up to 5 target in it pad. But don't mind about the guy up here because he is showing up late. Don't ever showing up late if you want to get hit by a hot mummy. And also if the standard skill hit a target, it can reduce the skill cooldown and replenish certain skill energy. I don't know if this effect can stack up or not. Like, the more enemy you hit, the more skill cooldown will be reduced and the more skill energy you can get from that. While her support skill, she will immediately slash 3 times at once and deal kinetic damage to every enemy in front of her. And after that, it will be followed by a powerful slash in the end. The powerful slash in the end is enough to knock up the target. So if your active operative are getting ganged up by a bunch of small enemy, you can use her support skill to escape from this situation. When you using her ultimate, she will perform a powerful white slash that deal kinetic damage and gain a 50 victory point. And after that, you can use her blade or kitchen knife as much as you want. And in this blade mode, her victory points will be decreased by 1 per second. So you need to keep using her standard skill and ultimate skill as fast as you can in order to maximize the victory points you save. In this ultimate state, her standard skill now can unleash 2 faithful slice at once. So, in normal mode, this one is her faithful slice that can deal about 2 to 3 times kinetic damage to the enemy. I don't know how many times the faithful slice can deal damage to the enemy, but it's about 2 to 3 times. And under the blade state, you can unleash 2 faithful slice at once. So it means you can double it and give it to the next person. And now, if you use her standard skill in her blade state or her ultimate state, the amount of damage that faithful slice can deal will become more merrier. You can see here yourself about how much the number come out from the faithful slice. It's about twice amount of the normal mod. And also in this blade state, it can greatly reduce the standard skill cooldown to about 0.2 seconds. So you can keep tapping her standard skill as much as you want. And every time you use her standard skill, it will only cost 2 victory points each slash. Like you can see here, it's jumping down from 48 to 46 and then to 44. Well, if you use her ultimate skill when you are in blade mode or ultimate state, you will unleash a powerful white slash to all of the enemy in front of her. But every time you use her ultimate, it will cost 15 victory points each slash. That you can see here, the victory point decreased from 44 to 29. And if your victory point is no longer sufficient to use an ultimate skill, you can still use your ultimate skill for one last time. And after that, the victory points will run out and Haru will exit the body as blade state. And also there is some footage that even in her ultimate state or body as blade state, you can still regain or replenish energy. But I don't know, it's based on when you're hitting the enemy or when you defeat the enemy using skill. And maybe this effect you get from her manifestation because they didn't write it in the skill description for now. Well, from her standard skill, support skill to ultimate skill, none of them are need you to aim properly. And also the skill rank is quite far. Maybe it's as far as rifle white hunt support skill. And also you can see that her standard skill are auto-targeting skill to every enemy in its head. So if you are mobile players, don't need to hesitate to pull for her. 
and also because she had a new mechanism in this shooting game that's very interesting for me because she dared to bring a knife in a gunfight just like how the game did and knowing that she is very skill dependent just like rifle while hunt she can become a main dps that's very easy to use for us and also because she is skill dependent operative of course, her weapons and the new logistics squad, Akisu squad, will mainly focus on buffing the skill damage. So, better save up from now so you can pull for her and her signature weapon at once. Because her signature weapon must be able to buff her active skill so much. And if you are unable to get her signature weapon, don't be sad about that. Because knowing how free to play friendly this game, they must be already prepared a new 4 star pistol that specializes on giving buff to active skill that suit Haru very well. And maybe we can get this free to play pistol for free just like how they give white leaf to us in the previous event. But because she is very easy to use main DPS, I recommend you to also pull for her signature weapon. And the next one, because Fritia has also get a new skin, our new upcoming banner is Haru the Absconditus and Fritia has. As the character from the permanent banner, just like the rifle while hunt from the previous banner. And I also got a confirmation about the mysterious woman that show up in the Fogbound event trial. Tyler. She will only become an NPC in this story, so if you are crazy for her, we will wait for another time. That's all from my videos, but I remind you that all of this is still a speculation. Maybe there will be some mistake, I don't know, but that's all for me. Thank you for watching, see you next time, cheer.